Hello, it's June 1st, 2016. I'm doing a math babbler bit. Uh, a few days ago, I turned 59 years of age. So I went to my math babbler number analyst and I typed the number 59 into it. Uh, and what's up on the board here is the output that I got from my program. Uh, so let's just kind of go through this a bit. First off, 59 is prime number, uh, and as a Roman numeral, it's LIX. And uh, turns out 59 is the sum of three consecutive prime numbers, 17, 19, and 23. All three of those numbers are prime, and it turns out 3 is also prime. 59 is a sexy prime with 53. Uh, 53 is a prime number. 59 and 53 differ by sex. Oops, I mean they differ by 6, which makes them sexy primes. Uh, twin primes are prime numbers that differ by 2. Well, 59 uh, plus 2 is 61, so 59 is a twin with 61. Uh, 59 is a safe prime with 29. 29 is a prime number, and it's of this form here. If I take 2 times 29 and then add 1, I get 59, so that makes them safe primes. 59 is a strong prime because if we take uh, the average of the two primes that are around 59, in other words, 53 and 61, when we take that average, 59 is greater than that average, and that makes it a strong prime. 59 is a super prime because it's the 17th prime number and 17 is a prime number so that makes it a super prime. It's an Eisenstein prime because it uh, follows this form here uh, 3 times some whole number minus 1 equals 59 and in this case the whole number is 20. So that means it's an Eisenstein prime. Unfortunately, the Math Babbler number analyst uh, erroneously thought it was a Gaussian prime because it follows this form here, 4n plus 3, the n is 14. Uh, but it turns out numbers of this form are not necessarily Gaussian prime, so I've got the not sign in front of the word Gaussian right there. And I'm going to have to fix the Math Babbler number analyst for that. Uh, but nonetheless, 59 does follow this form right here. Uh, it's a right truncatable prime because if we truncate off the rightmost digit we get 5 and 5 is prime. It is not however left truncatable because if I truncate off the leftmost digit we get 9 and 9 is not prime. Uh, and then uh, since we're talking about 59 years of age we could write that as 2 score 19 years and both the numbers 2 and 19 are prime numbers. Getting back into the uh, sexy, uh, 59 is in the sexy triplet 47, 53, 59. Uh, 47, 53, 59. All, all three of these prime numbers differ by 6. Uh, and it's also in the sexy quadruplet 41, 47, 53, 59 because all four of those numbers are prime and they differ by 6. Uh, if we look at some number uh, system stuff, 59 in base 2 uh, gives us a number that contains 5 ones, and 5 is prime. In octal, base 8, uh, 59 is 7, 3. 7 and 3, those digits are prime numbers. And then in hexadecimal, base 16, 59 is 3b. And uh, so 3 is prime, and then b represents the value 11, and 11 is prime. So uh, we have that. And then um, for 11 months out of the year, uh, Truman and I, Truman's my dad, uh, our ages differ by 30. And so I do these Truman-Gerald prime pairs. And uh, so I just turned 59. In less than a month, Truman will turn 89. 59 and 89 are both prime. And it turned out, uh, when I turned 29, uh, just 
less than a month later, Truman turned 59, and 29 and 59 are prime numbers. So uh, we have two uh, Truman Gerald prime pairs here. So anyway, uh, just uh, doing a math babbler bit about the prime number 59 and moving.